Chris Economaki, who I believe has Captain Peter Jansen, who is always good for a jovial word or two. Okay. Well, Peter, you seem to be happy. You were second here last year. Your car's lying second now. What is the interval behind the 05 car, and can you close it? Well, I, I've been asleep for quite a while. I've just woken up and had a couple of cherry ripes. And <laughs> we're getting the pops in. Yeah. And um, no, we're doing very well. There's no no way you can push Brock here. He's a master at his own game. And uh, we're a good private here. We're very lucky to be sitting where we are, and we're very happy. Okay, and what I about just... how, much, how much is left in the car, Peter? Can you get some more out of it as the race gets closer to the end? Yes, we can. But the point is, not enough to catch Brocky. You know, I mean, he cannot do us any day of the week. He's got a brilliant car. He's one of the most brilliant top five touring car drivers in the world. And both Larry and I, well, we haven't been in the car before unless Sandar, and that was only 15 or 20 laps. So if we go pushing it, we could bugger up our spot. And my bank manager and my sponsors will hang me from the highest gallows. No, we just sit where we are and be very happy with what we've got. And I only hope Rocky stays where he is. I'm very happy. Also, what you've got to realise, the car that is coming third is two laps behind. So we're in a good position. Why ruin it? And that's the way I look at it. I don't care what anybody else says. This is the way we play the game. We've always played it this way. And I wanted to stay that way, and I think Larry would too. Burn the hand is worth two in the bush, huh? You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going out with a beautiful bird and seeing three over there, and you go over and introduce yourself. When you come back, the girl you're with, she's gone home. Peter, i got to say, you lent a lot of color to your sport here, your deer stalker hat. The fact that you just got, got up and got out of the... Uh, caravan and we're taking a nap really floors me. Did you sleep well? Yeah, very, very well. <laughs> I eat something else. The car's in second place. He's got it all figured out. They don't want to get passed by the third place car, and they're not going to break their back trying to win it either. That's the way, right? Thank you very much. Okay, right. Back to you, Will. Okay, a few comments there from uh, Captain Peter Jansen, who of course is engineering along with Ian Tate, the uh, Cadbury Schweppes team. Uh, their car is in second place and they are not going to run from sprint to the finish. They are going to try and conserve, but so are quite a few other drivers. We'll have the answers to a few more questions, hopefully, when we return live. Mount Panorama at Battles. Won't be too long before these flags come out. Here it comes, the chequered flag for Peter Brock and Jim Richards. Richards at the wheel. A great finish. Peter Brock now makes it five Hardy Frodo successes. And a tremendous driving piece by uh, Jimmy Richards, who, of course, uh, rode out the last part of the race for Peter Brock. The first time ever that Peter Brock has been accredited a winner and uh, watched on from the pit area while his co-driver finished. Second place overall as the rest of the cars come in to finish now. We'll go to Peter Jansen and Larry Perkins Car and the Cadbury Schweppes, Schweppes Commodore. Yep. Yes. Third place, Pete Gagan. Is now 21. See. That is great to see. Pete Gagan and Paul Golson in the uh, Stockton Coin and Bullion Commodore entry will take out uh, third place.